Hello everybody and welcome to this video on the Taurus season of 2024. I'm Julie from Maison Gipta and I'm very happy and excited to be welcoming this Taurus season and I apologize I'm a bit late making this video. I wanted to do it before the actual ingress of the sun into Taurus, so before uh, April 19th, but um, I think it's very telling of the energy of Taurus because Taurus is a more uh, like a slower kind of energy. And also we're still under Mercury retrograde. So I think I feel like it's um, it's giving us some hints about how to handle this Taurus season with being uh, gentle with ourselves um, and maybe expecting a few delays, of course, while Mercury is still retrograde. So uh, that being said, um, Let's start by uh, first uh, talking about the general energies of Taurus season, what we can do to best take advantage of this energy as we're all relearning all together of how to move with the energies of astrology, how to move with the new cycles, how to best adapt as we are incarnated here on earth with the different cycles of the earth, with the different cycles of the stars. So, um, I'll be giving you a few uh, hints, a few tips, and also uh, guidelines about what this door season is all about. And, uh, and then I will give you also uh, some important dates to look up to. And uh, before I talk about all that, I want to say, first of all, a very happy birthday to all of the, the uh, Taurus suns listening out there. So it will be your solar return when the sun uh, comes back to the initial degree uh, where it was at the moment of your birthday. So happy, uh, happy uh, solar return to all of you Tauruses and uh, happy solar return because the energies of your birthday are going to influence you for the year ahead. And as you may all know, this one is a very special Taurus season because we have the most important uh, alignment of 2024, in my opinion. Uh, during Taurus season, so we just had it uh, yesterday as I'm recording this. Um, it was, of course, the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction in the sign of Taurus. So all Tauruses out there celebrating your birthday, uh, you will be under the influence of this very revolutionary conjunction in your sign. And if you're not a Taurus, you will also be under <laughs> the influence of this important conjunction in the sign of Taurus. So uh, it will kind of shake things up a little bit more. Usually Taurus is an energy that doesn't like change, is an energy that wants to build for the future, wants to enjoy the present moment, want to uh, enjoy life in its full capacity. Um, so this year is going to be different because we're going to have the shaker, the mover, the shaker, uh, Uranus. Uh, in conjunction with Jupiter, which is an expansive energy, which is going to give that much more importance to Uranus. Uh, it's going to give us the opportunity to up level in some kind of way uh, in one or uh, more than one of the Taurus themes that I'm going to name in just a few uh, moments. Uh, and I feel like everybody's going to have opportunities to level up to gain some more consciousness, to, let's say, uh, become even more mindful to change, to liberate themselves. So uh, we'll look at that all together. And before we do so, if you do appreciate this kind of content, uh, please support this channel, myself and all the girls into giving us a like on whatever platform you're watching this from. We really appreciate your support as usual. And of course, uh, if you are subscribed to this channel already and you do enjoy the content, please do so join this beautiful community of like-minded individual. Uh, we do produce a lot of original content on here and we also are bringing some new shows very, very soon. So if you don't wanna miss any of our videos, please subscribe to the channels. We are uh, of course on YouTube and I'm gonna share my screen over here. Uh, so on YouTube, the Maison Jupiter channel, uh, ever-growing community. We are now at 13,000 subscribers. So thanks to all of you who are uh, subscribed already. Really appreciate uh, your support. 
And uh, I just uh, did some scheduling today. I will be adding some more live shows for this week. So please stay tuned. We'll have the May predictions for all the 12 zodiac signs with Sophie and myself pulling some cars, pulling the astrology for all the 12 signs. So this is a very, um, a, way, a very, how do we say that, a weighted show. So people look forward to it. Like I'm, I'm losing my English. I don't know why, but it might be this Mercury retrograde. And of course, we have the weekly energy forecast with the beautiful Sophie every Monday at noon. We'll have a very special Divine Feminine Rebirth show on Wednesday with Soul Rita and Elena talking about motherhood and all the new souls coming in, incarnating on Earth right now. And we'll be adding a few others, so stay tuned. And of course, we'll be simulcasting everything on our new Rumble channel over here. So if you'd like to join this community, please do so. That being said, let's go back to our uh, Taurus season. So this Taurus season uh, of 2024 starts on April 19th. Sometimes it starts on April 20th, depending on the year. This year, it's April 19th. Well, uh, of course, I'm basing my dates on Easter time, so it might differ a little bit if you are in a different time zone. Uh, so April 19th to May 20th, when the sun is going to be leaving Taurus and entering Gemini. So this Taurus season starts with a bang because on April 20th, so just the day before the sun moves into Taurus, we have uh, the long-awaited conjunction between Uranus and Jupiter. And I know I've been talking a lot about this because it's so influential. Uh, it's that big of an event. And of course, it's not only impacting one day, April 20th. It is exact on April 20th, but it will be impacting the whole year. And even, I would like to say even more than that, a few years. So uh, Jupiter... Um, is very free in its energy. It likes to expand stuff. It likes to bring more consciousness. It likes to bring an open mindedness, uh, a higher level of understanding, of knowledge. Um, it's very also linked to faith, spirituality, religions. So giving us a bigger perspective, a more spiritual perspective on things. So that Jupiter with this very expansive energy is aligning with Uranus, the big shaker, the big mover, the planet of change, the planet of lightning, of lightning speed, of uh, drastic changes, unexpected events. So those two together will initiate a big new cycle of about 20, uh, 12 to 15 years, depending. But let's, let's just say 12 years so it will be a big cycle opening up in a sign of taurus so uh it will impact each and every one of us differently because it will activate a different house in our uh, birth chart so if you'd like to know what house exactly it will activate look at uh i'm gonna show you right here we did a video um with sophie and i'm just gonna choose here past live streams uh, it was the April video. So if you'd like to know exactly what house it was activating for you here. So look at the astro and tarot predictions for the month of April for all 12 signs. We talk about this conjunction for every uh, each of the 12 zodiac signs. So if you'd like to get more predictive personal, personal predictions, go check out this video. But nonetheless, it's going to affect each and every one of us. And if nothing big happened on April 20th, rest assured that there will be changes in each, <laughs> each of uh, every, in everybody's life. Wow, I'm really losing my words today. Um, because, because it will open up a new cycle and uh, it will bring opportunities for growth. So both Jupiter and Uranus are linked to growth. They are linked to changes. They are linked to liberation. The, both of, of the plants are linked to freedom and to a higher level of understanding of the earthly experience. So there will be this revolutionary energy. Um, look up at where, what was happening in your life around June of 2010. So that will give you an indication of the, how this energy kind of played out for you last time, Jupiter and Uranus were conjuncting. It was in a different sign. It was back then in the sign of Pisces. But nonetheless, it will give you an indication of 
um, what those two energies put together, combined together, can manifest in your own personal lives. So personally, if I look for, uh, if I look back, I mean, and it's funny because Uranus talks about future, and I keep thinking about like forward future. Um, but if we look at June of 2010, it is when I got my first apartment. So I was done with university and it's, it's when I first started to get like my personal freedom. I felt like, oh my God, I can, exp like uh, life's possibilities are endless. I'm on my own. I felt like I was truly liberated. It was, and I was on my own, like I didn't go with anybody else. So it was of course like a big responsibility, but at the same time, it was such like a, uh, an important milestone in my life regarding freedom and individualization, which is also Uranus. So, uh, and I'm guessing depending on your age, it will be a very different experience, but look back at what was happening in your life and you'll get sort of a, maybe a continuation of that theme in a, in a totally different way because it will happen in a different sign. So also, I don't think everything will be happening before April 20th. So, uh, it, it might be coming also in the coming months, but you'll definitely recognize the signature of Uranus being very unexpected, being uh, feeling a little bit fated, um, and uh, bringing some new opportunities for growth, as I said. And if I can share a little uh, personal story, um, it's interesting because I have one of my really good close friends who is, is expecting a baby. She's pregnant right now. And we were looking to organize a baby shower for her, like me and uh, different uh, girls of the girls group. So I gave them and yeah, they asked me if they could do it at, at my uh, new house. So I said yes. Um, and they told me like there's going to be a lot of people. So I was like, OK, let's do it. It was the first time I was going to welcome uh, that many people. I didn't even do a housewarming yet because I was like in between renos and traveling and like, you know, like restarting this whole channel. So I had like a lot of things, a lot of stuff on my plate already. So I wasn't thinking about doing a housewarming. But anyways, so they, uh, I gave them a few dates of like potential dates of uh, that could be working for this baby shower. And very synchronistically, they chose April 20th, the day of the conjunction of Jupiter Uranus. That was kind of a date where everybody could be available. So I thought it was pretty funny because I didn't plan it that way at all. But now that I think about it in retrospect, I think it's so interesting because Taurus is the sign of life, of new life. So it's like a sign of celebrating new life, feeling free. Um, so of course like uh, welcoming a baby having a celebration regarding someone you love having a baby and we're all women Taurus is a is a very feminine sign ruled by venus um celebrating uh in a very i would say like kind of spiritual way it was not like a traditional baby shower it was more like a, a celebration of love of newness and there were lots of flowers and i'm still like surrounded by flowers while i'm doing this video Flowers is a theme uh, connected to Taurus. Taurus is a sign of earth, a sign of beauty, of uh, of all the abundance that uh, that the earth has to offer. So I thought that was very interesting. Taurus is the sign celebrating of life. Uh, anybody that is uh, under the influence of Taurus in their birth chart have a strong connection to um, celebrating being embodied in the physical vessel. So they're it, it's a form of spirituality, of course, because uh, the whole point of being here on Earth is also to enjoy this uh, earthly incarnation experience. So I love my Taurus's friends. And of course, the girl we were celebrating who is uh, pregnant, she is a Taurus son and like sh she's a beautiful, beautiful soul. And she taught me so much about like how to really appreciate the present moment how to create beauty in our lives, how to have harmonious relationships. So um, yeah, so I wanted to share that with you because I, I know I'm an astrologer, but I don't plan my life 
all the time around astrology. Sometimes like stuff just comes up synchronistically and there's divine timing involved. And I thought it was like a really beautiful way to start this uh, tour season and this conjunction. And also I wanted to share that during this Taurus season, we're going to have the ruler of Taurus, Venus, come into the sign of Taurus, which is kind of normal because Venus never uh, really goes far away from the sun. But at the same time, we'll have Mars also entering its own sign of Aries. And we know that Venus and Mars are the cosmic lovers in astrology. So both in their home signs, uh, Mars being the divine masculine, Venus being the divine feminine. I think it's going to bring like a lot of passion, a lot of uh, passion, energy for love, for romance, for relationships in general. But also aside from that romantic um, energy, I think there's also a really good potential to inspire us into action, which is Mars, Aries, but also Venus and Taurus wants to have fun, wants to enjoy, but also can feel really inspired with beauty, with uh, with abundance, and uh, that Mars is going to be inspired by the Venus. So I think there's a really good, interesting balance and uh, dynamic between those two that can really create beautiful things during that um, Taurus season. So, uh, and I'm just going to share a lot of themes and important dates, but before we do so, I just want to share with all of you, we have a very special promo talking about motherhood and Mother's Day. So in U.S. and Canada, Mother's Day is going to be on May 12th. Yes, May 12th. So uh, we thought that we would uh, celebrate uh, all the mothers in our lives and any kind of motherly figure that you would like to celebrate by um, doing a promo. So we have three candles that are at 20% off until April 25th. So it's one week only because we wanted to make sure that the candles would um, reach you in time for Mother's Day. And also we have this same promo 20% off on all readings. So um, whether you would like to purchase a gift card to gift someone you love uh, with for with a reading with Sophia Sorita. It's available on MaisonJupiter.com and also available on all the readings with Sophie and Sorita for you if you'd like to gift yourself because Taurus is the season of self-care and uh, gifts and or if you'd like to also give someone you love, of course. So 20% off with the code Mother's Day, all in one word, and until April 25th only on MaisonJupiter.com. Yes, so that being said, let's jump into the themes for this Taurus season. So um, Taurus, as you may know, is about resources. So um, when we think about resources, what's the first one that comes to mind? Well, money. So it's very much linked to money. It's linked to finances, Resources in general, as I said, so energy, time also comes into play when we talk about Taurus season. So um, it's not like a regular Taurus season when where things about like topics of money, finances might resurface. I think because of the conjunction Uranus and Jupiter that might shake things up for all of us in the sign of Taurus, I think a lot of those themes in that list will come up for uh, review, but also there will be some shakeups and the universe is going to show you where you need to up level and where changes are due in your life. So uh, I would I would suggest to really be open-minded and mindful about what topics in that list come up for you during tourist season what is the universe trying to tell you? What's the cosmic lesson here? Where are you being guided to take some new opportunities to grow? And where are you being guided to, uh, let's say, learn some lessons to up level, to expand your consciousness? So money, finances, resources, also Taurus rules storage. It, it rules in general organization of resources. So you might be guided to reorganize some of those resources. Uh, there could be also important decisions and uh, let's say organization to be done around the topics of money and uh, finances. 
also um we will be tasked probably to find some more stability which is a very important theme when we talk about taurus finding some sense of stability and finding a sense of security so feeling stable if secure is really key for taurus people and during taurus season um so and even more so because uranus is in the sign of taurus which is going to push for changes and for, uh, let's say, destabilization in some aspect of our lives, I think this sense of security will be even more important than usual. So uh, how could we feel more stable and secure? It will depend on uh, anybody, but putting some order on your finances might help you to feel more grounded and secure. Uh, having a routine might help you as well. And also improving your diet might, might help you as well because also Taurus is linked to food and diet. Um, also, with the more fun stuff here during Taurus season, uh, Taurus rules the pleasures of the five senses. So it's very sensual. It's a sign that really likes to, like, uh, let's say, have a candle that smells good in your house to make sure that everything is harmonious uh let's say massages self-care sensuality the pleasures of touch seeing something beautiful hearing beautiful music so everything that brings you closer to beauty and harmony and balance is going to feel like a spiritual experience it's going to feel even more connected to to yourself and to of course the energies of the season so this is going to be really supported. So sensuality, I wrote also sexuality because I feel like it's also connected to Taurus, even though it's usually more traditionally connected to the opposing sign of Taurus, which is Scorpio. But together, they're kind of both very sexual in the different ways. So Taurus is more slow, it's more sensual, um, it's more focused on the present moment, pleasure, uh, like I said, five senses is more romantic than Scorpio. So you can see by <laughs> uh, hearing me talk about all those themes that it's a very fertile energy. Um, here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's spring, so flowers will start to bloom. Uh, Venus is the ruler of Taurus, it rules flowers. So we are being called to give birth to something. Um, also, Taurus rules the arts, it rules enjoyment of beauty and harmony, self-care, beauty, so it's a really good time to take care of yourself, uh, to feel beautiful, to feel like you are giving yourself some love, uh, and however that feels for you. Um, so uh, take a bath, that might help, connect with nature, maybe have some flowers in your home. Uh, if you're a woman and you like to take care of, like, your beauty, like the nails, hair, all that stuff, uh, go to the spa. So those kind of, uh, and of course that can be at home, but to really take care of your physical body in a way that makes you feel beautiful and make you feel like you invest your time, your energy, your money into your self-worth is really supported during tourist season. So uh, that comes with the question, the big question, what do you value? So that will be probably under review, because all of your resources together, time, energy, money, will have to serve on your priority list, what do you value? Not what your neighbor values, but not what your family values, but what do you value? Where do you want to invest those important resources? So that will likely come up for everybody, and we'll have all different answers for that. But it's a good reminder that uh, you can co-create with the universe with the uh, just shedding some light on that question. So it's the season of enjoying life, also the value of time. Uh, Taurus likes to take their time. They like to be present in the present moment. They like to really enjoy uh, something, not think about the future, not think about the past, be really grounded, present in the moment with also if you can do that with people you love it's even more powerful and prior whew, i knew that i was gonna say that wrong prioritizing what brings us earthly joy investing our time and resources there 
So, um, and what, with Uranus, that's probably going to shake up something. It's a good reminder here to, uh, to maybe that's going to feel different for you. Maybe uh, you're going to be asked to step out of the box, to do things in a different way, to be uh, the black sheep in your family or to do things maybe not to go uh, in the same direction as, as everyone else. And maybe uh, you're going to find your joy uh, over there <laughs> going really uh, at different different ways, different, um, how, do I, how do we say that? Against the grain is kind of what I'm looking for here. Also, Taurus, uh, Taurus rules talent, self-worth. So it might be a good time to develop a talent of yours, to invest your time and energy in yourself in something you'd like to develop for the future because Taurus is kind of a slow uh, energy because you're going to invest for the future. You're going to invest into st stability. That's why it rules money, finances, heritage. So you're going to invest things, but not because you just want to do something and then it will be over because you want something sustainable for the future. Um, and as I said earlier, it rules food, diet. So it's a really good season to really um, look at uh, what makes you feel, what gives you the most energy, what makes you feel like you, you can sustain a diet, having the highest amount of energy throughout your day. Uh, feeling inspired to do what you'd like to do, not like a crash and burn, like a really high sugar diet. Aries is kind of this the sign that is more like high has really high highs and low lows. So it's kind of like if you look at blood sugar and you let's say you have a bar of chocolate, your energy is gonna gonna up up and then down. It's gonna crash afterwards. But Taurus is like a more stable sign. So really try to find. Also in your food, in your diet, what makes you feel like it gives you a more stable amount of energy, of fuel throughout your day to really invest it into what uh, is important for you. Uh, also, it rules connection to Mother Earth, to land, to nature. I'm also going to add crystals. So anything that connects you to the, the bountiful Earth, uh, the abundant Earth, is going to be really, really uh, supported throughout Taurus season. Also, uh, Taurus rules real estate, investing in property. So a lot of people could be selling property, land, houses, properties during Taurus season or purchasing. So there, that's one of the topics that could come up in your life. And with Uranus, it can be like a sudden uh, a sudden move, a sudden decision. Uh, also, Jupiter is a financial planet. So that could be one of the themes that come up for you. And lastly, I wrote history, which is uh, what Taurus rules in uh, Vedic astrology also. So history, family values, and traditions. So uh, you could be guided to maybe look your look up your family and history, or let's say to... Uh, look into your family souvenirs to, let's say, I recently found paintings from my French grandmother and I decided to hang them up on the wall. So that might be something that you might be, let's say, putting up family souvenirs on your walls, redecorating your house, uh, feeling more like you want to re, um, let's say, rekindle family traditions. So there could be some, one of those topics, one or more that could be coming up. And with that Jupiter Uranus conjunction, I would I would bet that it's probably going to uh, shake up. The universe is going to show you where there could be a lot of expansion in your life, where there's going to be opportunities for you to grow, to learn, and to up level in some major, major way. Very excited about that. Also, I wanted to say I had a list of dates here but I'm going to share them um, in the May video. I just want to share really briefly that April 25th is the long-awaited date where Mercury is going to go direct. And at the same time, it will conjunct the North Node that's 15 degrees Aries. So April 25th, and just a few days from now, you can expect that things will start to move around and things will go a lot more let's say rapidly than it used to be. I know we felt like everything was like taking so long. There were delays everywhere. So April 25th is a big one. 
Also, I want to say that May 13 is another big one. We'll have Mercury retrograde post shadow. So this is where we're going to finally stop talking about the Mercury retrograde. We're going to stop feeling the consequences, the post effects of that Mercury retrograde. And at the same time, Sun will conjunct Uranus. So May 13, uh, I would say mark this date along with April 25th. Those are two dates where I feel like there could be major revelation information that allows us to move forward, to take um, action, important decisions into our lives. And those will be key dates um, because we just arrived from eclipse season. And if you don't know yet what actually it, um, let's say, it manifested into your existence then you're going to know during this Taurus season because things will start to happen and move really rapidly, especially, I would say, around April 25th when Mercury is going to go direct. This is and conjunct the North Node. This is where we're going to probably see the consequences of the April 8 eclipse. And then May 13, another step on that same story, another page on that same story, when Sun conjunct Uranus. So we're going to have additional elements of the Uranus-Jupiter conjunction, of the eclipses, and also we're going to have finally all the information necessary to move forward with all the positive changes I hope it uh, ushered in your life. So uh, I hope that uh, gave you some uh, interesting information. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, of course, uh, give us a like. It really helps us into growing this channel. Um, I'm wishing you uh, beautiful, uh, let's say beautiful surprises. I think that's the best way I'd like to uh, word this because you're in a surprises. Jupiter is very positive. It's very lucky. So I hope that each and every one of you get beautiful surprises in your lives. And I will see you very soon doing some live videos this week with all the girls. So take care and see you.